Yo guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over how you can get no input delay on PC. As you are aware, input delay can be so frustrating, especially in competitive Fortnite, as there's nothing that you can do about it and it does slow down your potential in this game. If this is something you are facing, do not worry because literally everyone on PC goes through this. As it is impossible to get no input delay, I have compiled the best methods to get as minimal input delay as possible. This can ensure you a lot better performance in Fortnite, resulting in better placement in tournaments or even potential earnings in your next Fortnite competition. So yeah, this video has got you covered A to Z on this topic. I've literally went through absolutely every single tutorial out there and every single pro guide and I've compiled this video to show you the best of the best strategies. So yeah, you guys definitely want to watch the video the whole way through. Moving on to the first method, this actually does require exiting out of Fortnite. But right before I do go on to the first method, please guys could you drop a like and subscribe to the channel with post notifications because just a quick reminder, it only takes 4 seconds out of your day and this tutorial is taking me like half an hour to make. So yeah guys, everyone go ahead, drop your boy a sub and a like road to 4,000 subscribers and uh, post notifications while you can guys. Also make sure you do use my creator code JOESHD and enough with the plugs, let's get back in the video. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to go over to your search and type keyboard. Now this should give you a list of properties for just your key repeat delay and your key repeat rate. Now I'm going to go over these in just a sec guys. So essentially what your key repeat delay is, is how long the delay is going to be for how long it takes for you to press a key and for it to register in your Fortnite game. You you obviously want that to be on short and your key repeat rate is how long it takes for you when you just press a key so you, so basically think of it like this you know when you press one button on your keyboard and it just goes along with a list of them you obviously want it to be short so that the time it takes for it to go from one key to another is quick so yeah guys leave it how i have it and these are the best settings for your keyboard so yeah guys, this is a really effective way to get as minimal input delay as you can. Uh, we're only on the first method, so believe it or not, your game is going to be running smooth as by the end of this. But yeah, this is really effective because if you're doing like a LAN tournament for example, this should not take you any longer than a few seconds to set up. So just everything I'm covering up in this video should be quick and easy to get you going. Without further being said, let's move on to the second one. So the next method is a huge improvement in terms of input delay guys. So yeah, this one only unfortunately goes out to my nvidia users but i'm pretty sure for all of you who use radian graphics cards there should be something similar but yeah what you guys want to do is you want to go over to where it says low latency mode now a lot of people have this on off or they just have it on the standard one but what you guys actually want to end up doing is put it on ultra like this is an absolute upgrade i can't even explain to you enough it's like going from 60 hertz to 144 hertz in other words changing your eyes is that big of an improvement so yeah guys if you want to copy my settings go ahead feel free to just pause the video so yeah for those of you who went and followed my advice and put their low latency mode set to ultra you guys should instantly see change within seconds like honestly it is really going to help you in your fortnite game but yeah without further being said let's move on to the third one so for this step this is going to require you guys to go over to the link in the description and go over to something called timer resolution now guys for those of you wondering what timer resolution is this is just an application you have running in the background to get rid of all latency your windows provides you with so yeah it should should give you a WinRAR zip file let me just extract that file for you all simply just drag your WinRAR file onto your desktop and just like that guys you should have time and resolution oh yeah one thing I have to point out is put this to maximum it will be on default but maximum gives you the best performance and then minimize it have it open in the background while you play your games if you guys have been following along each and every one of these steps then you should see dramatical increase in your performance but yeah guys there are still quite a few more that i have to show you and this can just ensure you to get that pro player tier level of fortnite gameplay and you'll never have to deal with this ever again trust me guys once you do this step you will see huge improvements guys so yeah everyone stay tuned for this one so for this step guys what you want to do is go back on your search bar search up device manager and what you guys want to do is go down to where you see your keyboard now you should have a list of different keyboards but what you want to do is you want to right click on the top one that you see guys go on update driver and then you guys want to go on search automatically for the best drivers mine has already been done but yeah guys do it for every single one you see at least you do it in order from the first one 
all the way at the top to the bottom one. Guys, you can't miss out on any of the keyboards. Trust me, it will help. So yeah, your game should be running 100% smoother, guys. We are not done just yet. I will be mentioning a few more steps. In fact, there's one more step that I will be mentioning. But before I do that, guys, I just want to say if you've watched this video this long and have not done so already, please subscribe to the channel because just a quick reminder, you've watched this video for five minutes straight and I'm pretty sure you wouldn't mind spending a second just giving your boy a little cheeky sub, you know. You want to do it and now you want to do it and now you do. But yeah, let's move on to the next step. So this step is a pretty easy one and a lot of people actually don't do this which is actually a surprise because everyone with a PC should be doing this regularly but this is to update your drivers. Now this doesn't only go to my Nvidia fans, this also goes to you Radeon users. I know you don't need to cry in the corner but yeah you guys have got to update your drivers. I cannot express this enough. You'll see significant improvement in FPS. None of the pro players do this, I have no idea why. But trust me, it's worth it. That is a bonus 50 FPS to your Fortnite. So yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. I mean, today you are no longer that same old person you were playing Fortnite with horrendous response time and, you know, just the worst circumstances to play with. So I mean, it's always my duty to give you guys the best gaming experience you can get, which is why I would kindly ask you to subscribe. And I know I've been saying this a lot, but you gotta, you gotta understand me. But yeah, you gotta understand me, guys. I'm trying to reach 10,000 subscribers and at this rate, it's not possible but yeah with all i've helped you i hope you can help me by choosing to hit that button um it really is a simple thing to be honest but yeah guys hope to see you in the next video i'll be more than happy to help you then peace